Hello everyone, welcome back to Simple Networkings. Today we are going to learn about OSI model. OSI abbreviation is Open Systems Interconnection Model. Check out the description for more information and leave us your comments and feature request. So let's dive into it. OSI model is created in 1984 by ISO. OSI model is not a protocol but it is a reference model it is used to help vendors to develop their products. The OSI reference model was a major advance in the standardization of network concepts. OSI model is used to understand how data are transferred from one PC to another PC in the computer networks. Two PC are connected using LAN cable connected with RJ45 jack to form as the network. One computer is published by IBM and another computer is published by Apple then how these two computers will connect each other's. In order all the vendors are supposed to meet the required standards so that they can connect each other. Also OSI model is designed to standardize between various components that making networking function successfully. OSI consists of seven layers and each layer performs a particular network function. Here are the seven layers of the OSI model. Physical layer, data link layer, network layer, transport layer, session layer, presentation layer, application layer. In the OSI model, the layers can be categorized into upper and lower layers based on their general functions and responsibilities. The layers are organized in a hierarchical manner with the upper layers focusing on more abstract function. Here's a breakdown of the upper and lower layers. Upper layers layer 7 to layer 5. The lower layers dealing with physical communication. Lower layers layer 1 to layer 4. Upper layers is responsibility of the host. Lower layer is responsibility of the networks. The upper layers also know as the higher layers include application layer, presentation layer, session layer. The lower layer are transport layer, network layer, data link layer, physical layer. Now we'll see all the layers one by one. Application layer. The application layer is the user interaction layer. This is the topmost layer of the OSI model and is responsible for providing network services directly to end users or applications. This layer enables communication between different software applications on different devices. There are dozens of application layer protocol that enable Vario's function at this layer. All these protocol collectively from application layer. It includes a variety of application-specific protocols and services, such as HTTP for web browsing, SMTP for email, FTP for file transfer. Skype for Messenger and Telnet for Terminal Session and many more. Presentation Layer This layer is responsible for data formatting and representation. It ensures that data from the application layer is properly formatted for transmission. This layer ensures that data from the application layer is properly formatted, encrypted if needed, and presented in a way that can be understood by the receiving application. It also handles encryption, compression, and conversion between different data formats. Translation, for example, ASCII to EBCDIC. Encryption and decryption. Data encryption translates the data into another form or code. The encrypted data is known as the cipher text and the decrypted data is known as plain text. Session layer. The session layer is considered an upper layer. This layer establishes, manages, and terminates communication sessions between two devices. It provides synchronization and checkpointing for reliable data transfer. Session establishment, maintenance, and termination. This layer will maintain the session. Let's take an example if we are opening an internet banking and we are not using the page for some. Automatic session will automatically expire at a certain time. Dialogue control. Session layer will allows communication between two processes which can be either half duplex or full duplex. The transport layer is called as heart of the OSI model. The transport layer is responsible for end-to-end -end communication and data segmentation. It ensures that data is reliably delivered from one system to another, handling issues like flow control and error correction. Segmentation. Segmentation is one of the key processes that occur at this layer. 
is a fundamental process for ensuring efficient and reliable data transmission over networks when dealing with larger amounts of data. Flow control. It is essential for managing the rate of data transmission between two communicating devices to prevent congestion, buffer overflows, and data loss. Error control. Error control is performed end-to-end -end rather than across the single link. The sender transport layer ensures that message reach at the destination without any error. Examples of transport layer protocols are TCP, UDP, network layer. The network layer is responsible for logical addressing and routing of data packets between different networks. It determines the best path for data to travel across the network. Network layer is responsible for routing and forwarding the packets. Routers are the layer three devices. They are specified in this layer and used to provide the routing services within an internetwork. The protocols used to route the network traffic are known as network layer protocols. Examples of protocols are IPv4 and IPv6. Data link layer. The data link layer translates the physical's raw bitstream into packets known as frames. This layer provides error-free transmission of data frames between adjacent network nodes. It handles flow control and error detection and correction. It ensures reliable data transmission between directly connected devices. Example STP. Spanning tree protocol. Physical layer. The physical layer is the lowest layer in the OSI model. This layer deals with the physical transmission of data over a network. It defines the physical characteristics of the transmission medium, such as cables, hub, bridge, etc. Thank you so much for watching this video fully. Please like the video, subscribe to our channel to stay updated. Hit the bell icon to get alerted when videos are released. And write your comments in the comments box. Please let us know what you want to learn next from us. Also, please drop the email if you have any.